Hello friends! Welcome to Circle Time with Miss Monique. I am so glad that you're joining me again today. Let's start with our singing voices, our hello song. Are you ready? Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine and I hope that you are too. I'm glad the night is over. I'm glad the day's begun. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. On Zoom, we get together. We sing and we have fun. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. We better get our work mat ready for all these lessons that I have here today to show you. Rolly, 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 rolly out my mat already. And yes, here's our heart-shaped bowl full of beans. Let's see how many things we're going to find hiding in these beans. Number one. That means there's only one thing hiding in the beans. Let's find it. Hmm. Wow, it feels pretty large. Whoa, look at this, friends. That is a really big seashell. This seashell was given to me by a dear friend of mine. And it's from Florida. It comes from Cedar Key. It's very pretty. So, what do you think we're learning about today, friends? Seashells. That's right, seashells. I'm going to bury it back up in the beans. Put the number back. Now it's ready for the next friend. I'm going to move my basket off of my table so that I have space available for more lessons. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Oh yes, I have another basket over here. It has some seashells in it. Seashells that you find on the beach. You know when you go to the beach, yeah, to go swimming or play in the sand. In the sand on the beach is where you find seashells. And seashells come from an animal that lived in the sea. Yes, much like a sea turtle carries a shell on its back, many sea creatures live inside seashells. That's their home. That's right. They come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. And I have a little poem to share with you and it goes like this. I found a great big shell one day. That's a big seashell, isn't it? Upon the ocean floor. So I found a great big shell one day upon the ocean floor. I held it up close to my ear and heard the ocean roar. Did you know that you can do that? If you find a seashell, hold it up to your ear and you listen and it sounds like the ocean inside. It's kind of magical. I found a tiny shell one day 
upon the ocean sand. The waves had worn it nice and smooth. It felt nice in my hand. This is a small seashell. Can you see that? It's very tiny and it's very shiny and smooth. The waves make the seashells crash on the shore and roll in the sand. And that's what makes them nice and smooth. So much fun. Now, I have some pictures of seashells that I want to show you. We're going to name them together and then you'll help me match them. Are you ready? Sand dollar. This seashell is called a sand dollar. Starfish. Starfish isn't really, it's not a seashell, but it lives um, in the ocean and often you can find them when you go to the beach. Conch shell. Conch shell. A conch shell can be really large. I have one that I'm going to show you in a minute. Welk shell. Welk shell. And the last one, its formal name is Pectin ravinelli, but I would call this shell a scallop shell. Scallop shell. Now I have something to help me so you can see these better. I have these little pom poms. I'm going to position just underneath a little bit so it tilts them up a tiny bit so you can see them better. Does that help? A little bit, right? Not completely, but a little bit. I'm going to space them out a little bit here. Let's see. Starfish, sand dollar, whelk shell, conch shell, and scallop shell there. You can see them a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to need your help. Welk shell. Where does it go? Here, sand dollar? No. Starfish? No. Oh, here it is. Welk shell. They're the same. I'm going to put them right on top, one right on top of the other. They match. They go together. Oh, here's another one. Sand dollar. Hmm. Starfish? No. Oh, yeah. Sand dollar. They match. I'm going to put them together. Conch shell. It's not a starfish. Conch shell. They match. I'm going to put them together. Scallop shell. Mm -mm. Ah, there it is scallop shell. And the last one, starfish. Yes, starfish. We did it. We matched them all together. Thanks for helping me, friends. Now I have the real shell for each one of these. Will you help me match them? Sand dollar. Right here. Sand dollar. 
card that you know this one. Oh, it's so big. This is a really big shell, right? Conch shell. Look on the inside. Oh, it's pink. It's so pretty. This one is so nice to listen to. Conch shell. Let's see. Where does it go? Oh, here it is. See? Let's see how that different. See? It's the same. Wow. I'm going to put that together. Conch shell. Wow. Starfish. This one looks different, but it's still a starfish. We'll match them together. Here's that scallop shell. Mm hmm. They call it pectin ravenelli. Scallop shell. And last is the whelk shell. This one's not as brightly colored as the picture, but it's still a whelk shell. They're the same. We did it. Thank you, friends. Brain kiss. I did it. Now we have to do what? Put it away. We put it away. We put our work away. Conk shell. Sand dollar. Starfish. Whelk shell. Scallop shell. This one's my favorite. It's so pretty. It's pink. It's really nice. And I'm going to set my basket aside. And then I'm going to pick up the cards. Starfish. Sand dollar. Conk shell. Whelk shell. Scallop shell. I put them away, I put them away, I put my work away. I cleaned it up. It's ready for the next friend. And then these were just to help me. So you could see the pictures. I'm going to put them away. Now I have a fun little song I want to share with you. And these sea creatures in this basket are going to help me. Let's name them first. What do I have here? Dolphin. Sea turtle, angelfish, seahorse, starfish, and the last one is an octopus. Okay, so I have this little poem. It's a song, and it goes like this. Seashells, seashells, sing a song for me. Sing about the ocean, sing about the sea. I can hear the ocean, I can hear the sea. In the ocean is where dolphins swim happily. Seashells, seashells, sing a song for me. I can hear the ocean, I can hear the sea. In the ocean is where sea turtles swim happily. Seashells, seashells, sing a song for me. I can hear the ocean, I can hear the sea. In the ocean is where Octopuses swim happily. Seashells, seashells, sing a song for me. Sing about the ocean, sing about the sea. I can hear the ocean, I can hear the sea. In the ocean is where angel whoops, <laughs> angel fish swim happily them into the basket. Seashells, seashells, sing a song for me. 
Sing about the ocean, sing about the sea. I can hear the ocean, I can hear the sea. In the ocean is where seahorses swim happily. Seashell, seashell, sing a song for me. Sing about the ocean, sing about the sea. In I can hear the ocean, I can hear the sea. In the ocean is where starfish swim happily. Yay! They all swam back to the basket. When they say, seashell, seashell, sing a song for me, I can hear the ocean, I can hear the sea, what they're talking about is exactly that when you hold the seashell up to your ear. I can hear the ocean, I can hear the sea. That's right, friends. It's so much fun to listen to the seashells. Now we're going to do a little counting activity that's going to be really fun. I have a basket here. And this blue cloth is going to pretend to be the waves, okay? The waves come in and the waves go out. The tide comes in and the tide goes out. So this is going to be our waves, okay? And we are going to start with five little seashells. Let's count them. One. Two, three, four, five. We have five seashells. Now here's our waves. See how they move a little bit? That's what happens when the water, the tide comes in and the tide goes out. The water, when it comes in and out, it moves the seashells around, just like that. So our poem goes like this. Five little seashells lying on the shore. Swish went the waves. And then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four little seashells pretty as can be, swish went the waves, then there were three, one, two, three, three little seashells all pearly new, swish went the waves, then there were two, one, two, two little seashells lying in the sun. Swish went the waves. Now there's just one. One little seashell lying all alone. I picked it up and I took it home. They're all gone, friends. The ocean swept them away. The waves took them away. Except for the one that I'm taking home. It's fun to go to the beach and find seashells and bring some home with you. That's why I have so many seashells. Every time I go to the beach, I bring some home. It's fun to do. Let's see here. Activity for you. I have to move something over. I have a great big basket that I'm going to put up here. And I'm going to need your help. Oh, it's heavy. Wow. Look at this. I have lots of big seashells in here. We're going to do some counting. Will you help me? 
Let's see what I have that's the same. Hmm. Well, I only see one shell like this, so I'm going to take that one out first. So pretty. It's very big. It's almost as big as my hand. Look at that. Wow. Seashells do come in all different shapes and sizes. And oh wow, these conch shells, there's only So big and heavy I need two hands to pick them up with okay and then let's see what else is in here oh yes I have starfish and we're putting them together the ones that are the same we're matching them together so my conch shells are together and my starfish are together and my one big scallop shell is alone. It's only one, so one. There's just one, this is one. I bet there's a number one in the basket. Yes, one. We're going to put that together. This is one and this is number one. Let's check our number line. One, it's right. Hmm, now the conch shells. One, two. This is two. And this is number two. We did it. Let's check our number line. One, two. We did it. And now our starfish. One, two, three. Yes, there's a number three in here. Here it is, three. Let's check it. One, two, three. Did we do it? We did. We matched them all. We did our work. Thank you, friends. Now, what do I do with my work when I'm all finished? I clean it up. I do. I clean it up. I clean it up, I put it away, I put it away, I put my work away. Scallop shell. Conch shell. Wow, they're so big. Starfish. And my numbers. One, two, three. All done. And I'm done with my work mat, so I need to roll it up. Rolly, 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 rolly up my mat. Pinch your claws. Roll, roll, roll. Tap, tap, slide. Roll, roll, roll. Tap, tap, slide. Roll, roll, roll. I put it away, I put it away, I put my work away. Thank you, friends. What's in the sound box? What's in the box? What's in the sound box? What's in the box? Hmm. I bet it has to do with what we've been talking about today. Let's see what sound it is. It's the letter S, and the sound it makes is S. Seashell starts with the sound S. Seashell. Thank you, friends. We did it. Thank you for today, friends. Thank you for today, friends. Thank you for today, friends. I hope you had fun. It's time for us to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. It's time for us to say goodbye. 
our time is done. And always remember, you are smart. You are brave. You are beautiful. And most of all, remember, you are loved. Hands on our hearts, let's send wish you wells out. We wish you well, we wish you well, all through the day today. We wish you well. Thank you, friends, and I hope you have an opportunity soon to go visit a beach and look for some beautiful seashells. Until next time, friends. Goodbye.